and so forth and so on. We're going to dip for a total of 2 minutes and 30 seconds. At 2 minutes and 30 seconds, I'm going to call time. Everybody's going to pull their submerged coral out at the same time. So that polyp will come out. And then what I want you to do is take it off your, your little tweezer guy, give it a good shake, make sure there's no water in it, and then we're going to place them in respective order on the counter, and you guys are responsible for timing your person's coral recovery using the clock, okay? So first I've got to time our two minutes and 30 seconds. I'll restart the clock for the recovery time. So let me get that going, make sure that's on there good. Okay, so we're not going to dip the first one until 30 seconds. So we're watching that clock. At 30 seconds, we're going to dip person number one. And you're just going to stay in there until the end, okay? So how does thermal stress duration affect recovery time? Should we be writing what time the coral goes in, what time it comes out? It's going to be in here for a set time. If you want to do that, you can. Okay. So my first person, you're going to get ready to go in and dip. You just dip and stay. So in 30 more seconds, my second person, you're going to go in beside. You're going to wait till one minute on that clock. All right, let's see here. 10 seconds, almost. All right. All right, team number two, dip. Dip and stay. Perfect. Okay. We've got a squeeze room in for our next two guys who we're going to do in minute 30. We're going to dip person number three, okay? Like one it's one. Yeah. So you're going to remember your orders and we'll place them out after you've shaken them up, okay? Minute uh, 130, we're going to put our third person in. Here we go. And dip. Okay? And our final guy, our final pop.